And welcome. So today for our last segment, it's entertainment. And who else to join us but the one, the only, Baby Lawyer herself, Esther Wankwa. Welcome, yay! <laughs> Presenter Max <laughs> FM for Waiting Day. Good only morning. this time she'll be speaking English, not pigeon English. Hey, I feel just that I'm joining you. Oh, I feel shock you still. Now, there's always a very fine, beautiful way <laughs> in which you speak it that I would not mind hearing even here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. <clears throat> so Thank let's you. talk entertainment, and it's good to have you because we have so, so much to talk about. First up, let's start with Progress, as he has emerged the winner of the Nigerian Idol Season 7. Mm -hmm. Now, the show's host, Aike, um, announced Progress as a winner after the battle with Zadok for the grand prize worth 100 million naira. Note, I said worth 100 million naira. Now, after weeks of watching the top 12 contestants signing, singing their hearts out on the show, um, uh, he earned fans' votes, and well, all of a sudden, he became the fan a favorite from early point yes so this thing always happens in competitions where um if we remember this year when we had the um west african idol yeah. timi dakolo exactly. jody kind of Omaomi, like like same. you know everybody heard jody sing and went like mm, that the best way go win be this <laughs> you know but then Times just changed, you know, fate just had its own way. Uh -huh. And then, of course, we had Timmy as the winner. But did you think, or do you think that in these cases, sometimes it's the personality of the talent that actually matters? Because in this case, I thought it was the personality. Progress has that underdog personality. Even if he's a better singer, I, I still think that it was the personality that pushed him forward even so further. So trying led to winning. So mm -hmm. it's, it's an inspirational story at the end of the day to say that, okay, even if it looks like, yes, there are better people than you, my dear, put your foot down. Last, last. Everybody's going to be fine. I know, Amen. right? What did you think about the performances by the judges? Uh, that's the Banj and Simi um, at the end. Was Electric. That right? Electric? Electric. You didn't think... Um, well, I have reservations about that one, but uh, I'm not going to say anything. But I, I, I want to say, IK, IK, good job. You're not just an MC. You're also an entertainer yourself. That's fantastic. Very That's what awesome, too. All right, now, let's move on now. So the long-awaited comeback project of one of Nigeria's musical icons, I'm talking about Alex O. Yes, you heard me right. Alex O is heating up. The proje uh, project is in collaboration with one of his most popular music stars in Europe, by the way. He's a Nigerian-born German. His name is Prince Amaho. Mm -hmm. um, he's also staging a major uh, homecoming here in Niger. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you, the 80s kid or 90s? Uh, 90s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I'm yes. not struggling with my <laughs> 90s-ness, if there's anything like that. I'm an 80s baby. I know, I know. And uh, Alexo was the guy that our mothers were jamming to. Our oh, mothers yeah, had a poster yeah, yeah, for everything. Yeah. Our fathers had to warn them, leave this guy's song uh, alone. Oh, oh. So, yeah. So, he, 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 he has a place in our heads, not our hearts. So, there's this picture that I, I, I saw of my mom. Um, <laughs> hold on, hold, wait. I have to apologize, especially Africoco, my baby. I love you, I love you. So, of course, my mom is an evangelist, I know, but you know, them being young and then going out yeah. and you know, how they used to dress and yes, go exactly. for their boogie downs and all. So, there was this day I saw a picture and I was like, ah, and you tell me not to wear this kind of dress. <laughs> and my dad was yeah, so I went to one party and this is the song they were playing, and then it happens to, to be to one be... of Alex's songs, yeah. actually. It was either so, Alex o or, or uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember, but I, I remember. Yeah, so because there was this mix my dad had of um, Bongo Sikwe, Alex O, um, this guy they call Felix Liberty, I think. Felix Liberty, oh, nice. Yes, okay. so um, Black oh, like you're from, Ibo, the, okay. that's, that's, from the yeah. coming down to or it's really key. He used to play yeah. them a lot and Mike Okri, you know, and then... So you're excited about Alex O making that comeback, even if he's not the one who's front and, no, uh, and no, center? No, 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 no. I am totally up for it. But the only thing is that I always say to people from that generation when they make their comebacks, make sure that you don't lose you. Mm. So I see a lot of them trying to do this generation, okay. forgetting that people know you from that generation. And expecting a certain so, kind of flavor. Yes, because yeah. there will always be that crowd that will remember you yeah. from then. So yeah. find a way to keep it together and make mm -hmm. sure you don't lose that crowd. Mm. Well, hey, that's what we all are looking forward to. Uh, if he's making a homecoming with his new artist, we're also hoping that some of his spice is going to be inside of that artist as well. We don't want to lose that Alexo and all that. Now, the wedding of the century. Let's talk about that. Did you hear? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. After, you know, everything has happened. <laughs> it was an Italian wedding. And uh, days after time, not in the courthouse wedding, uh, Courtney Kardashian and Travis Baker flew to Italy to say the I do's in front of their loved ones. Mm -hmm. Why they had to do all of that journey, I don't know. But uh, during the European nuptials, Courtney and Travis 
have is said, I do on a red carpet um, altar at the 16th century Castello Brown in front of friends and family, including her children and his children as well from mm -hmm. their different other relationships. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to them? Question mark. Um, I would say congratulations to them. I think um, Courtney and Travis go way back, way back as in over... 10, 12 years yeah, back. Yeah, true. You know, so she's actually known him, I think a bit, or at the same time, from the time she knew, um, it's called Disick. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, while the, prof the her relationship with um, Scott Declined, grew yeah. and went like this and did like that and just did break down, <laughs> in a way, you know, He's been there in the background. They kept saying they were friends, and then she went on to date him. Um, uh, well, they just fell into some love, uh, and then they had a baby. You know, and then... <laughs> or something like that. Of course, that. and at this point, it's not a case of we're doing this to have kids. Yeah. They have kids from Already. other relationships. So it's a case of we're doing this for us. Mm -hmm. I am so happy for Travis stepping up and doing what Scott couldn't do. For nine years. Okay, yes. so now everything is all well and good until you impute the fact that this is the Kardashian family. And we know everything that the Kardashians do always have to have a hint of, or uh, let's say media in it, mm -hmm. deliberate media. Mm -hmm. So do you think this is just for the optics? Ah, ah, ah. You already said it. And remember, this is Hollywood, this is entertainment. Uh -huh. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's all about the paper. How, how long is that going to last? Then? And but then at the end of the day, it's what they want. It, you know, I would always say this to people. Do I agree with that? Mm, Personally, no. Would I want to do anything for the media or get married for the media and then leave and go into another mm. relationship? No. Yeah. But it is what it is for the West yeah, I guess of so. today. I so, guess so they don't see it as anything. I guess that doesn't so. make it okay still. Hey, final story here. Can you believe it? But Naomi Campbell is actually 52 years old. Uh, she was 52 on the 22nd of mm. May. Uh, she's well known for her exotic, bold appearance and also sassy persona. She is the first African-American model to appear on the cover of Time, French Vogue, British uh, L, uh, and so many more. And, uh, of course, she's a supermodel known for the smize. Is it called the smize? You know that thing she does with her eyes? <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? I mean, 52, good age. Is she maturing rightly? Um, she is. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I want to go on and say black don't crack and all of that. Yeah. Um, but then again, we, we, we thank her for aging, you know, gracefully, gracefully mm -hmm. and all. Even though we know that there might be some things attached to the graceful age. I don't think she's done anything to herself. I mean, she's, I mean, she still has that billboard for her forehead. She no, could have gone ahead and done anything no, to No, that's it, not what I'm saying. I'm only saying... So I've, heard, I've seen people who have compared themselves to her at 52, and I'm saying well, everybody should take it slow ah, and just age, yeah, you know? Age your, your age pace. and be fine. Don't, don't die. But for her, mm -hmm. I am so glad, being in the business for over 30 years uh, yeah, and time. still doing it, setting the pace, creating ways for black models in ways that people can't imagine. Very I true. celebrate her for that. Mm -hmm. I especially recognize the effort she has put in. It shows from even the way she walks the runway that she, she's paid a very huge price yes, indeed. to get yeah. there. Yeah. Well, hey, I'd like to look that way when I'm 52. Mm. Without the mascara, mm. of course. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be needing that. Maybe a little Mazzino, bit, Mazzino, Mazzino. <laughs> Just Mazzino, a little bit. Mazzico. I will tell you one thing for a fact. Black don't crack. Yeah, I mean, course. you're 42 and you look this I good. I am not 42. <laughs> In any case, <laughs> that is as much as we have for inside of our entertainment. Just thank you very much, Esther, Bibi, Lawyer, Wanko, for coming so over. Much. We love it when you're on. Thank and of you. course, uh, the rest of the team also appreciate the fact that you are here, don't you guys? Yeah. We definitely did. Yes, by, so. the way, by the way, I just want to call out that greatest showman. <laughs> ah, <laughs> they should have this. just talked to Baby Wala <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, no, no, can I say something, Mike? Oh. Now that you've said it. Now, yeah. I did not think that that was the best performance. I did not think it was the best performance for the entire uh, um, show. I think it was actually one of the worst. Mm. I, I didn't want to say this initially, but I thought yeah. that um, <laughs> I, was, I was just very excited that IK was betrayed. a part of that performance. Sorry. But uh, it was a decline for My brother, for me. even you know if you want like trope load, did you have to do it like that? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, See, well, what? the costume was nice, okay? Yeah. See, they said, no, go. because we have to give them something. Let's watch <laughs> them go. <laughs> the people that saw the clothes will not try. But like the performance the and the best no, well, well, is this about this. Now, wow. Yeah. This year's Nigerian Idol, they did produce it. And it was great. I mean, they did a lot compared to others that we see. But then again, they didn't absolutely, they overproduced it in my opinion. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.